Farming is more important than ever in classic mode thanks to some Season 8 changes that saw the removal of the siphon, not to mention material gain getting nerfed. You gain less from harvesting than in Arena, and there isn't the extra material on elimination. If you consider good building to be one of your traits, the success of you and your squad will be largely determined by how much material you have. In this video, we'll be showing you guys 6 fantastic locations to gather material. Per usual, there's some criteria behind our choices made for this list, focused on quantity and quality. Other factors like popularity and ease of rotations were also considered. As we discuss each spot, we'll also try to lay out the most efficient path. And if you need even more help mastering the tips and tricks we're going to be discussing in this guide, check out InstaPro. We can set you up for some coaching sessions with competitive Fortnite players who can help you get those victory royales. While this guide is focused on classic mode, feel free to use this guide for Arena. Just keep in mind that the harvesting and material meta is quite different in Arena, but the usefulness of these spots still apply. Mostly, you just need to tone down the amount of farming you do. Speaking of farming, let's get into our first location, Fatal Fields. Fatal Fields has always been one of the best spots to gather wood and brick. However, the metal was always a bit more scattered and in low quantity. With Season 9's Sky Platform, as well as the somewhat new Fork Knife location, it's become a lot easier to fill up our material. And for when you want to leave, there's a slipstream that goes right through the middle, allowing for quick and simple rotations to pretty much anywhere on the map. We suggest landing either at the farmhouse or by the vending machine in the back. Loot up and harvest the furniture inside. Be sure to hit any wooden fences as you pass them for some quick material. To the west of the house, there's a tiny forest with a chest. The amount of wood you can harvest here is absurd. As you leave the forest, head toward the rock quarry just north. Over here, there's another potential chest and tons of brick. Try only harvesting the 450 HP rocks here. They're the most efficient to harvest. There are more good rocks ahead worth going towards, so if you want to keep up a good pace, don't waste any time on anything that gives low material. Head north and hit up the fork knife rock pit. Get the chests if they spawn and fill up on however much brick you need. Then walk to the little shack just north. Break the small fences and junk piles for some metal, grab the loot at the shack, and head up to the sky platform. Break the platform as much as you need to for some more metal. At this point, you'll probably be full on everything but metal. Use the thrusters to either go loot the rest of Fatal or head to your next location. Lazy Lagoon has had a crazy amount of material in it since the beginning. Even in Season 9, there are still a few bugged spots that give more than the normal amount. Then, once you grab all your loot, there's several getaway choices for when you decide to rotate. To get the most material possible right at the start, aim for the pirate ship. Land at either the front section or toward the back by the steering wheel. Here, hit the top section of each of the wooden posts. The lower section gives a normal amount of material, while the top sections seem to be bugged, giving way more. The sea monster figurehead at the bow of the ship gives a ridiculous amount of wood as well. Before harvesting the wood, grab the chest resting on top of it. As you head below deck, make sure to farm any bookshelves, beds, and other pieces of furniture on board. The farming rate here is pretty efficient. In the cannon room, there's a bunch of cannonballs lying on the floor. These, along with the bags of gold, make up most of the metal in Lazy. The gold bags break in one hit, so don't forget to hit them for metal as you progress through the ship. When you reach the lower deck, there are several wood panels that you can choose to hit if you still need more wood. You can also farm the metal down here if you'd like, but it's not that efficient. There are some alternative choices you can make with this route as well. You can choose to rotate to the village after finishing with the pirate ship. There's plenty more loot on the village side of Lazy, but the material amount isn't the best. If you do rotate this way from the ship, there are a few rocks underneath the docks you can farm before entering the village. The quickest way to fill up on brick would be to head west. Grab the loot on the shore if it hasn't been taken yet, then farm the 450 HP rocks as you head into the jungle. Just a little bit in, there's a chest spawn with 5 rocks around it. These rocks have 900 health and end up giving a load of mats. After farming these, you shouldn't need more brick, but if you do, there are plenty more rocks nearby in the jungle. Now to get some metal. Head south from the rocks, destroying the RV at the bottom of the hill. Then keep going until you reach the sky platform. The whole thing is made out of metal, and there are a few potential chests to grab. You might not get max metal in regular game modes here, but if you're in arena, then there should be no problem. Once you're done, use the air vent to rotate to your next location. Pressure Plant is the newest location on our list. There's one thing that's quite unique about Pressure Plant. It's a dead volcano with no trees, so the only wood you can harvest are these wood pallets, located sort of in the middle right side. It's also right next to a bunch of chain link fences and these large yellow pipes. The pallets, fences, and pipes make this the best landing spot in Pressure Plant for gathering material. If you're okay with the material you've gotten so far, feel free to stay, looting the rest of Pressure Plant. But compared to this specific spot, the rest of Pressure Plant has poor material. There are some tiny rocks that are worth getting for brick, but they're scattered and not a whole lot of them. Loot-wise, there are 8 potential chests north of you and 13 to the south. Climb down south in order to get to the chests below you. Check the truck on the left pavement for a chest and some more steel. Then head toward the River of Lava to loot any remaining chests. 
At this point, your mats and inventory situation should be missing mostly brick. So if you want to grab some more brick, there's a nearby group of large rocks by a cliff near the lava tunnel, just south of Tomato Temple. Speaking of which, one of the quietest locations in the game, the old Tomato Temple Arena, doesn't slouch when it comes to offering mats. There's a good supply of all three types of material here. The only one that's sorta of lacking is metal, but luckily the supply here is quite easy to collect. We recommend normally landing at the top of the temple, right under the tomato. If you don't see a chest up there, land on a weapon or another chest location first so you can defend yourself if needed. The giant tomato can actually be harvested for a really good amount of material, over a hundred metal, so be sure to destroy it whenever you can. Then gather the rest of the metal in the form of the ice cream truck and RV down below. Open the remaining chests in the temple, then go west. Harvest any trees along the way for wood, and just down the cliff there are more chests and two small dilapidated buildings. From there, go south toward the cliff with a bunch of rocks on top, the same one from the previous path. Here you can gather a ton of brick. From this point you can go get the two extra chests down in the tunnel, or you can take the slipstream in front of you to rotate. If you do need wood, metal, mushrooms, or just looking for a fight, head to Dusty. If not, the slipstream can take you pretty much anywhere you need to go. The unnamed baller camp is quite slept on and underrated. When it comes to material gathering, it's actually better than a lot of name spots on the map. It's also pretty low key, meaning you won't have much trouble with opponents here. The exception is if it's an arena match where players might be more inclined to land here for a baller. The main benefits to this spot is the large amount of wood and metal to farm. There are trees located everywhere as you're in a jungle. Harvest these for your wood. When you get the chance, go for the tall palm trees since those can drop coconuts to fill up your health. For metal, the chain link fences surrounding the camp should provide enough material. If you somehow farm every single fence and still need more metal, there's always the buildings in this area too. Once you're done with the camp, you can grab a baller and leave. If you'd rather continue looting and farming, take your baller and head northeast instead. In the jungle here, there are a few chests surrounded by some rocks you can harvest too. At this point, there isn't much else in the jungle. You want to start planning your rotation at this point. On your way out, you can choose to check out the six chests and vending machine by the hot springs to the west. There's some good wooden brick here as well, making it worth a stop. There aren't many bad things to say about Lonely Lodge. It's one of the oldest POIs and has remained an all-around great location for several seasons now. In terms of how good its mats are, you've got trees everywhere. There's also a good amount of rocks and vehicles scattered throughout, so each material type is covered. The loot isn't bad either. To top it off, there's plenty of mushrooms that you can gather for more shield. It's best to land at the large northern cabin, as you'll find up to three chests and a vending machine here. From here, head south to loot the rest of Lonely. Harvest materials from all trees, rocks, and vehicles you see while on your loot path. The watchtower can be a pain to loot sometimes as it just takes so long to climb, but there are three chests, more trees, and a few more rocks along the way there, so might as well head there if you need more materials still. To fill up your steel, you've got a few choices. The best one is the RV park just to the southwest. If it's already been looted or you'd rather go somewhere else, there's the baller spawn location just to the west of Lonely, on top of the large hill. Here you can destroy the building for some more metal. RVs are generally more efficient to harvest, however. Other than it being contested, there's no good reason not to rotate to the RV park. Make sure you check the vending machines on your way out as well, one just to the west as you exit Lonely Lodge and one by the mansion's front gate to the south. There are quite a few more locations with great material, but unfortunately we've run out of time. Let us know in the comments what spots you and your friends like to land at for quick mats. If you learned something, leave a like on the video. Now it's time to take what you've learned and go apply it in-game. Practice the spots you thought seemed best and figure out what works for you. Thanks for watching.